Yay! It works! <laughs> what is up guys, Major Magpie, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis. And uh, yeah, we've spent the last four episodes, I think it is, constructing this mammoth beast, which is a, a nice little lake uh, mountain, if you like. Um, and it works. We've uh, filled it up with water and it works. <laughs> And I love it. It looks awesome. It's going to need a lot of detail added and bits of foliage, trees and signs and, and God knows what else, but yeah, it works, guys. It looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Um, what I want to do, guys, a couple of episodes I spoke about one, a good idea that I had that I wanted to try on this mountain. But first we had to get the water going. We've done that. Uh, so what I would like to do is... Go ahead in this episode and do that little idea that I had. I'm not going to do it just yet though. Uh, I want to pop across and do some industrial. Because if you look down here, we've got a huge demand for industry and offices. So that is what I want to just tackle at the beginning of this episode. Uh, so let's just head over and do that. Uh, I do have another building that I want to put in here. Uh, and it is called the Pulp Mill Part 1. Uh, and it's an electric building. Yeah, this is it here, guys. Part one of the Metza Fiber Pulp Mill. Uh, and I want to put this guy right next door to its friend, if we can get it in. Uh, I might have to remove that road, I think, though. Yeah, there's a road in the way there. Just remove that and see if we can squeeze it in here. Try again. Yeah, we can get it in there. 80,000? Boom. It's quite a, a mammoth structure, <laughs> but it looks cool and it fits in nicely around here, right? I just want to do some zoning of some industry then, and so I've gone ahead and just put in this road up here. That's what I want to do. I just want to do a few avenues of industry up here. First of all, we are going to just have to sculpt this road on the side here. And it's wrong there. Something like that, which is cool. And I'm just going to go with single avenues, just two lane things, nothing special. Uh, and I'm going to run a straight road first of all, just parallel with our highway. So I'm probably there for now. And then just run a couple of avenues up here. And we'll just zone all of these. I'll do one more, since we have the space. There we go. Right, toggle the lights off, and then zone. Toggle, 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 toggle. Zone in industry. Just fill it, so fill all of that. And there we go. Hope the industry will just start developing on there nicely. Alright, next thing I wanted to do, and uh, just to help out with industry, is just put in a few more offices. Um, so if we just get a couple of, uh, probably, I'm going to go with a four lane road with a grass central reservation. And I'm just going to run straight roads, just to there maybe for now. And then along there. further up. Yeah, something like that will do for now. Just take the ends off them. And I'm just going to fill zone all of these as offices. And that will also help with our industry demand. So and there we go. Right, so we've Conquered that. Uh, I'm debating whether to do some mountain sculpting. I don't think I will because I think it'll be too time consuming. No, we're not. I've got 
some unique buildings to go in, which I would rather put in, and I want to do our little idea that we had now. Which we need to be up here. And I really hope this works, because it will look pretty cool. Uh, we need this, the hydro power plant. And I thought we could put a dam on the top of here. So, yeah, let's go for this. Let's wing it and see what happens. Something like that. Boom. Alright, and what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to connect this road up to it. So we'll just move that from there uh, and get our two-lane symbol road. Uh, free form it on the... There, like that, which is cool. Uh, yeah, right. I'm just gonna give that probably this episode to see how it turns out because the water might probably build up behind it and reduce in front of it. In which case, if it does do that, we can go ahead and just remove this entire ledge here, and the water should just trickle down beautifully. Yay! Yeah. Right, so that's that done. What I want to do now is we want to, I want to head across to our town and we'll put in a few unique buildings. Um, and I was thinking we could get in a few of them in and around here since it's just going to be a lot of towned area. Now let's start with a level 4 unique building. And this is this little thing here, the Millennium Tower. A high-rise office complex located in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Uh, and I just want to Pop that probably on a corner somewhere we can get it in. Something like that, maybe. It's 44 grand. Boom. Yeah. That'll fit in nicely, don't you? And it's got its own little car park and stuff. Which is cool. Awesome. Okay, next up, another level 4 building, and we're going to go with the Oppression Office, and this is a building that we've unlocked, and it allows us to construct a monument, or it's one of the um, buildings that we need to, un to construct this, the Medical Centre. And we're just going to find it, it is a, a level 4. And here it is here, the Oppression Office. When in need of oppression, go to the Oppression Office. It's their speciality, and it is a requirement for building the Medical Centre. Um. Yeah, I was thinking maybe it's down just on the riverfront here would be quite a nice spot for these guys. Sure. 80 grand? Yeah, whatever. That's pretty nifty, actually. I like that. Need a barrier to go along the front of the river here. So I'm going to have to look into doing off cam. Right, uh, our third and final level 4 unique building that I want to put in is the Pajola building. Go and find this little bad boy. This is it here. Pajola building. Tax office is located in Kovola, Finland, a grand masterpiece of oppression concrete architecture. So, yeah, this is what I want to put in. I'll go where? I've not quite decided. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, you know what it is? It fits nicely in between the roads. So I'm gonna go here. 60 grand. Boom. It's... it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. It'll fit in nicely in here. Right. Uh, what we got? We want some more unique builds. I've got another three that I would like to put in. Uh, and I'm going to start with the Kalis building, which is a level three. Actually, no, we'll start with this one since we're on it, which is the HSB, the HBS One Pen Plaza. Uh, this is quite a structure. I'm not sure I want it in this area, though. That's the thing. Maybe just... What area can we put it in? This Windermere Lake area? This is going to be quite a built up area, isn't it? So it might go in alright here. I think we should. Yeah, I'm going to put it right on this corner here. 
put it up by the road. So something like that. Yeah, 70 grand. Boom. Yeah. Fits in nicely. Which is what we want. This does have quite a hill on here, yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, there's a nice little dish in there. I didn't realise that was a steep. It's alright, it's staying. It's staying. It's a little bit of character, I suppose. Right, uh, let's go and find our next building in another level three. Uh, and we are looking for the Kalez Tower, aren't we? There it is. Kalez Tower, 70 grand. So this is doesn't look like anything special, but it's different. Uh, let's put it across in this area here. Everybody's about there. Yeah, like that. 70 grand. Boom. It's beautiful. One more building, guys. And then I think we might do a little bit of mountain sculpting. Let's see. The next building is called the Norton Building. And it's another level three. And here it is, yeah. It's 50 grand. Uh, and it is the Norton Building is a post World War II office building in international style located in Seattle, Washington, in the US of A. I want to go ahead and put. Maybe it's. Oh, I don't think it's going to fit in there, that's the thing. I definitely want it in this area. I'm sure it doesn't go in there. It's all there. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. This here? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. Yay! 50 grand, you're in. That's alright. It's got a tidy little building. Awesome. Let's just have a look at our zoned area. Let's make sure we're doing alright. Yeah, we're going to need a, little, a few more zoning over here. And I've got a little bit of demand on offices, so why not just put in a few more offices over here? Although, having said that, they haven't really used this plot yet, so there isn't much point. Yeah, who knows? Pause time, it's getting dark. I'm going to do a little bit of town development over here, guys, because I do want to put in a little low-density town. So why not do it where we've got a little bit of time to spare. Uh, we're going to go with a straight road, two lane. And I'm just going to run a road straight through there, like so. Okay. And I'm going to run probably one... No, actually, I'm not going to. I was going to run another straight road at the back of there, but I'm not going to. We're going to do a lot of... Nice curves. Uh, let's just bring that around. Something like that. Um, okay, alright, I'm just going to change that road there. Because it's all one way, so it's now a two way road, so. Might at least up at that junction, which is cool. Um, right, I'm just going to get our terraforming tool, or landscape, or whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to put in... I'll just lift this ground ever so slightly, just so it's not straight. Just so it's not level, even. It just gives it a little bit more character. And then just smooth it out a little bit. Alright, let's put in some streets and then we'll do some zoning. Alright, so back on the freeform, and um, we're just gonna just randomly generate some streets. Street up there. That junction, you can go this way as well. Yeah, I will connect it onto there, why not? And then the street straight through the middle. Cool. That's awesome. Right, zoning. Uh, low density housing and just fill. Fill the letters. Not letters to a big fill, so we're going to paint it then. All of this. 
I'll put a little bit of low density commercial probably around the front, just next to the our toll booth here. For now, we're just paying all of this. And I'm gonna quickly pop up and see how our um dam's doing actually. Before we leave. This. Keep it off that road there. Probably do some commercial on there, I think. In all of this bit here, and all of this. Just around the base of this mountain bit here. Let's stop there for now. I'll just go ahead and remove this and this. Probably a little bit of that as well. Uh, get our low density commercial and just paint this bit here. All of this around to there. Probably gonna do in here as well actually. Yeah, up to there. And then this corner bit as well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove power lines. Just quickly zone up it there and up it there. There we go, and that'll do. So that is town one. I'm just going to sculpt the side of this here a little bit because it's the only bit that's not done. Let's just increase our two lists ever so slightly. Come on. Come on, I was having a bit of a bit of a moment. Something like that. Let's just increase the size of this bit here. I'm gonna go too silly because we do have a bit of zoning on the edge there, don't we? So we've got that. Let's just smooth it again. Awesome. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. By the time town starts development in there. Should look very nice. Right, what I would like to do in the coming episodes, guys, is obviously finish sculpting this mountain bit. Uh, we've got a lot of roads that need to come down off it, which would be cool. Uh, I want to bridge this eventually. Wow, that's gone a little bit dry, that hasn't it? <laughs> Where's it going to? Yeah, I think it's reduced the flow of the water, which may or may not be good. We'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it pans out. But, yeah, I mean, hopefully it's just for a moment and it'll find its equilibrium and everything will be cool. Yeah, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. And um, we've done quite a bit in this one. It's nice to see that our river works and it's got a beautiful little dam on the top here. I'm probably going to go ahead and just flatten this lip bit out here because then that would right, it would just be nice because you'd have your dam and then the water would fall off the edge and there would be no lip to contain the water within you because the dam is now holding the water in yeah guys until the next one thanks a lot for watching